Now, I know that some of the sacrifices that we are asking people to make, and they are sacrifices, we are asking people to fundamentally change the way that we live our lives, that these will become more apparent to us and more difficult as we head into the weekend. I know that there will be some of you who might be wanting to head out to the pub for a final night out or looking forward to a meal out with friends, but my guidance to you is clear and crystal clear. Please do not do this. You must not consider this vital health advice to be merely optional. Now, let me say candidly and frankly that I know people don't like being told what to do by politicians. And in normal times, uh, I might not blame you for not wanting to be told what to do by a politician. But please understand and believe me when I say that this is vital. It is vital for your own protection. It is vital for the protection of your loved ones, particularly if amongst those that are older or more vulnerable people. It's vital for the protection of our NHS and its ability to care for those who will need it in the weeks to come. It is vital for the protection of all of us and it is vital to help us save lives. I want to thank all of those who have complied with this difficult advice so far. But again, to be candid, I, I do have a concern about younger people who I know will be disappointed not to be able to socialise with their friends over this weekend. And again, I cannot be clearer. Please do not think that this advice just applies to other people and not to you. As a young person, if you get this virus, there is no absolute guarantee that you will just have mild symptoms. But even if you have mild symptoms, you still risk passing the infection on to people who are more vulnerable. Please do not take that risk. Doing everything we can to slow down the spread of this virus now means that we will save lives and we will protect our NHS. We cannot just carry on as normal. Life right now is not normal.